So what do you call yourself? Welcome. Welcome to the Los Angeles Show. Hey. Hey, what can I do for you this fine day? This is your destiny. Hot, hot, hot. Right now. Welcome to the Los Angeles Show. Kick it. Come on in and enjoy yourself. Right now. We gon' party like no one else. To work, to work. My mic sounds nice. What about yours? Check one, check one. Did you hear, did you hear that? That's a crowd. Did you hear? Yeah. He's in the building. Yeah, He's in the fun. building. We're gonna have fun. But you gotta do it for me one time. You know what it is. Hit it. Go ahead. I don't, I don't know Come what you're on. Talking yes, about. You, do. you know what it is. Come on, man. If Come you're on. seeing this, you know what it is. You needed this. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Welcome back to another episode of the Los Angeles Show podcast. You know, in the hot seat on the tan line, you never know who's going to show up and show out. But today, I got him. None other than Attorney King, because you know you got to put a handle on that thing. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing great. How you doing? How you doing? Ooh, I'm holding on. <laughs> and that is the God's honest truth. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm, man, I feel you. One day at a time. That's one day at a time. it. And we're entering our way through this season. And when I say this season, it's before the season premiere kickoff of the Love Experiment that's coming to MTV. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, adding to our binge list is none other than Chris King and this love experiment. I've got questions that need answers. Um, okay, so tell us a little bit about yourself first, and then we'll get into it. Yeah, yeah. So here's my little elevator pitch. You know, my name is <laughs> my name is Christopher King. Um, Christ is King Esq. Uh, the love attorney, whatever you want to call me, right? Um, but no, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, went to St. Augustine, uh, graduated from Zachary High, then played ball, then pledged for my fraternity Alpha Alpha in Henderson State in Arkansas. Um, after that, came home, went to Southern the Southern University uh-huh. Law Center, um, where I have you know cousins, my father, my brother, we all became attorneys in that establishment. Um, and now, man, I'm just doing what God has called me to do, right? That's coaching football, that's um, doing my art, that's acting, modeling, and, um, and obviously being an attorney, right? I'm trying yeah. to do it all, and, and, and each day I just want to die on empty, right? I want to yeah. die on empty, so when God, when I meet God face to face, he's like, man, you did everything I called you to do. That's it, right? you left none. Ringing out hey, that towel, drenching it. Drench it, let's get that's it done. It. And, you know, I am so proud of you as the consistency as of who you are on all levels of what you are, right? And it's just like when people have those moments where they really have to dive in and dig deep and say, well, who is Chris? When the cameras aren't rolling, when the microphones are off, when things are just not what is routine, but it's who you are to the core. What does that look like, right? Um, And I know without a shadow of a doubt, this love experiment is going to take it next level because now we get to introduce to the world a piece of what I I brag on different. I brag on him different because I know the level of excellence that he's going to bring, whether he's coaching the kids or whether he's telling a man how to be a gentleman when it comes to loving himself, uh, presenting himself, and on a search on the quest for love. I have a song called Quest for Love. So we're just going to plug that here on why he's on his quest for love. Um, so how did we get to the point to where we say in this phase of my life, I'm doing all of this. I'm an artist. I'm an attorney. I'm a model. I am a motivational speaker, a podcast host. I now want to find love and I'm going to let MTV help me help me out. Like, right, what? Right. Yeah, it's it's what? a little crazy how it happened, right? I mean... But you know, you know, we live life, and especially as men, um, God trains us um, for certain seasons, right? So I think throughout my whole life, He's been. I, I relate to the story of uh, of David and Joseph very much in the Bible, right? Okay. Because I feel like He's He's given me a lot of visions and stuff at a young age. But I had to go through the process, like Ooh, we wait. all we, we all do, right? Oh, the process, though. Like, the process. nobody wants to talk about the process. Nobody, because it ain't fun, it's right? Not. It ain't fun. You ain't going to be on the big lights. You ain't going to be on the screen. You're going to be hitting. It's right? battlegrounds. And, oh, man. <laughs> and, and, and that's when he really cultivates your character, right? Yeah. Um, so I had to learn all those different lessons, right? Um, through football, through uh, playing college ball, through um, and all the experience of life, dating, at, you know, at a young age and yeah. college and all that stuff. Um, I, I learned. I learned. Um, so while building your character, you've learned and identified with some of the things and characteristics that you want 
in a life partner, in right. a mate? What does that look like for Chris with all things going on, with all things desired, with all things that you work on and would like to see mirrored? What does that look like okay. for Chris? You set me up. I, don't I got am. That much time, we got right? time. I got I time got today. Much time. I charged my batteries. The microphones are hot, and I got time today. Oh man, uh, what does it look like? Mm -hmm. Um, man, uh, that elevator pitch was a lot easier, wasn't it? I know it kind of was. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it because it, it's it's so much. And the older I get, I understand like you know, no nobody's perfect, obviously. True. Um, but it's it's so much that I want in that woman. Right. Um, from first of all, being rooted in God, right? Okay. Uh, being a woman of God, she has to have that foundation um, there. But also, you got to be gorgeous. Like, uh, hey, hey. The, 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 okay. I, I've been He's waiting saying, 30 years. Um, <laughs> He's not going to tap dance around. Hey, you. I've been waiting 30 okay. years. She has to be physically attractive. That's really important. Um, fitness, like, that's just things I do. Right. So I would want my woman. Reflection. Right. To have those things. But also, you got to be able to have fun. Yeah. Right. Doing anything. Right. Whether it's going to the park, getting some snowballs, getting some crawfish or, you know, doing it all fancy. Right. Going to the Zulu ball or something like we I, I need to be able to have a great time with you. Right. Yeah. That's really important. Um, but also uh, uh, a principle I kind of live by is every day I have to find a way to get better mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Right. Yeah, definitely. So I need my woman to have that kind of um, focus. Right. Mm -hmm. Of every day. I'm going to make sure I'm trying to be the best self that I can be, right? And That's if important. she does that, and I do that, and we come together, then then we should be rolling. Right? That's we, what we a power couple looks like, right? Right. And it's right. all about you have to self-improve before you help improve. And sometimes it's hard finding that because we often look for people to complete us, Ooh, right? Yeah. And you should be whole, your whole self, the best version of yourself for yourself. Right. And whoever else comes along with that, it enhances their life, mm -hmm. but it does not in return make or break it. You know right. what I'm saying? And right. sometimes that's really, really hard because, you know, them grand rising texts. I know they hit you with grand rising king, your last name king too. Like, right. how could she miss that? That's an easy letter. Right. But right. beyond the text messages, right? Find out what he wants. Be that for a month. Shout out to Taylor Swift. Um, how do you find that, you know, it, it was all glitter. It was all gold. But maybe, <laughs> you know, the act is growing old. And, and yeah. you know, consistency. And sometimes when people are just in that space, it's like a might as well. I mean, we've been together right, all right, this time now. Right. Might, might as well. How do you move around without moving around, Chris? Like, what is that? What does that look I like? Mean, for me, I would say my vetting process is something serious. Oh, right? stop, stop. Oh, the boy hey. said vetting process. Hey. All time. We, we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta keep it real, right? Okay. Because the person that you choose to marry can either make your life or he can break your life. It, I think it's the second most important decision of your life, right? Yeah. Outside of giving your life to Jesus, right? Rule so, one. like, for real, like, I take that extremely seriously. So, I'm, <laughs> I guess it's the attorney in me, right? But I'm assessing <laughs> everything, right? It's the attorney in hey, you. Hey, I'm assessing how you handle conflict. <laughs> Um, conflict resolution. Mm. Um, how do you live your life? So she can't also pull up action. I'm outside. Nah, so, nah, like no. nah. You really can't, like, cause you gotta move. I want something different. Okay. Right? I, I need something different. Not that we can't have fun or, or you know, everything got to be super serious. I'm not saying that, but it has to be cut differently, right? Like I know a lot of people. You know, we everybody says they're different. Right. Right. But when you line things up, it's like, no, you're doing the same things. Like you're mm. still acting on emotions. You still mm. don't don't live in by principles over feelings. You still, you know, uh wilding out or doing whatever, right? Or you're not holding yourself to a certain standard, okay. right? Okay. Um so, so the flash out should look a, a lot different than what it does for somebody who don't live by the principles and the standards. Most definitely. Like I can get my point across without having to be outside Most making definitely. headline news for all of the wrong reasons. I, I agree, because me personally like, how you see somebody when they're mad, that's kind of who they really are, yeah, right? Man. And if we're in a relationship and we can't disagree or, or have a conflict resolution without you calling me on my name and vice versa and yeah. screaming, then this ain't going to work. And, and, <laughs> and I say this to everybody, man, like, don't complain about the things you accept. Yeah. Right? So well, that's a if, word. Like, for real, though. Because if I'm saying, look, so for me. For example, like the whole, you know, cussing at you and getting loud. Yeah, we'll see what I addressed that do. once. <laughs> I addressed that once. Like, look, this is what we're not going to do. Not in this. I don't know what you've been through. I don't know your history. Right. But this is what we're not going to do. And if you can't do that, then we're just going to have to separate ways. Right. And I, I let that be known from the jump. Now, you got to give somebody grace to, you know, yeah. cultivate through that. But I don't. There's certain things I don't accept. Right. Right. A and, as you shouldn't. Right. You know, and that's just what we are. If you don't set those standards, those principles, and those values for yourself, 
and people will start sprinkling it in to see how much they can get away with, right. how far they can get away with, what can begin to antagonize you and keep tabs on you, and then eventually mm-hmm. train you to change you. Ooh, yeah. You and, and to be honest, a lot of times, a lot of people ain't healed. Mm-hmm. Right? They're not healed from the past relationships. So they take all that and they bring it into the next one, and then that blows it up. Picking and that scab and bleeding yeah, all over yeah. somebody who didn't cut you. Yeah. This ain't my fault. I ain't do that to you. What? What? Who hurt you? Sometimes it's hard being a good guy. Who hurt it's hard you? being a good man, you know? Because yes. you got to deal with, and or good woman, right? Because yeah. you have to deal with those insecurities that other people have kind of implanted in that person, right? Yeah. Um, now, that's part of our charge, right? Especially as being a husband, you, you have to cultivate her and, and love her through all those different things as she does you, right? Um, but there's certain things you got to have, like, hey, this yeah. is unacceptable. You got to put your foot down for yourself exactly. in, in some states. You know, it's just, um, it's like when people say, oh, I want a good guy, or I want a good woman, I want a hardworking woman, I want a, a, um, a disciplined man. Mm. Well, that sounds great. And for the very reasons that they love you, then they turn around and begin to hate you for that because yeah. they see that if you're really disciplined, if you're really a hard worker, if you're really dedicated to your purpose, then if it becomes a competition instead of a completion in some sense, right. then they begin to hate you for what they once loved you for. Yeah. You know, it's like, so if they see you, they have to see you through all of the difficult times. And it, it's it's a blurred line sometimes, Chris. It, it, really it can is. get re- It gets complicated. And now I'm starting to see why they got that tab up. So if we're on Facebook relationship status and it says it's complicated, <laughs> we just need to reevaluate and stop and start over yeah, somewhere else. Because yeah. if it's complicated, <laughs> chances are we're at the wrong address. Right, right. Yeah. Um, not that you won't have any um, Complications. You know, challenges, right? Because that's just part of relationship. We're all flawed human beings. Um, but at the end of the day, like, we get older, right? Yeah. So, so you, you, you gotta, you gotta start at, at a certain point. You gotta take accountability. And you gotta grow and you gotta get better, right? Yeah. Um, and if you don't do the work beforehand when you're single, when you're getting a relationship, man, it's gonna make it just that much worse. And it's just a matter of time, unfortunately. I got questions that need answers, Chris. All right, let's get it. So here it is. We can find you on Instagram and all of your social media platforms. Christ dot is dot King Esquire. Right. Facts. That's it. And we understand that social media has given so many different options to where being committed to many things um to one even the persona as of who people want to be yeah if you scroll down two months ago they were a different person scroll down two weeks from now they're going to be a different person so it makes the options of the click the dms um the accessibility to people a lot different now do you think that social media and even your presence i'm I'm gonna pick on you right now (laughs) Because you be out here flashing out on Instagram, and you be doing it in so many eloquent ways, though. You know what I mean? You're a model, so it makes sense that he's in Jerusalem. Where were you last? In Greece. In Greece. Greece. You know, yeah. just randomly in Greece with some water glistening over. I was like, Chris, how about what you doing, bro? Like, what, what are we living doing? Life, right? Living his best life. And we're living vicariously through, so don't stop. You know, but does it make it difficult when a woman says, hey, Chris, um, you know, we're together now. Um... And I really don't want you flashing all your goods on the gram. Would you feel some type of way if she told you that? Because as a single man, you're doing that right now, right. and it makes sense. But when she feels as if she got some stake in the claim and say, that's my goods, and I don't want you flashing that no more, even right. though that's how she found you. Right. Even though that's how you were doing what you were doing beforehand. Right. Do you think that, that tilts? Do you think that well, changes? I or? think it changes a little bit, right? Um, now, it's a little different when you're in a relationship versus when you're married, right? Uh-huh. Um, but I will say this. like You can't be moving like you're single when you're married, right? So certain things are going to have to change, right? Okay. And, and I understand that completely. Um, with that also being said, like you also have to understand what you're signing up for, right? Okay. That's like me saying, um, don't you know? Don't take it. But that's like <laughs> saying, okay, me, I'm trying to, I'm dating Beyonce, but... Hey, I don't want you to sing no more. Yeah. Like, that's part of, like, you know, that that's part of what you're signing up for. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So, like, you also have to understand who you're pursuing or who you're getting in a relationship with, right? Now, the flip side is that is, you know, things will change, right? Maybe I might have to tone down some things here or may have to, have to you know, just, just work on the editing of, of what I post, right? <laughs> no more slow motion, but I can still come out yeah, more. Maybe, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit, right? But with that also being said, like, when I'm in a relationship, um, this is just how I am. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure my woman is secure. Right. Okay. To where she doesn't have to 
second guess that or question that. Um, one thing I pride myself on is I never ever cheat in a relationship, never actually been cheated on as well, right? But I want to, I want to hold that, all right? I, I want to carry that and I want to run with that, right? So I want to make sure my woman is 100% secure to be like, nah, like I have him. Even no matter what social media may look like or yeah. what, what the DMs may be popping or whatever the case may be, no, I'm in this 100%, right? Like because it. all we have is you're a man of your word, right? Yeah. So that's why I try to be. I like that. Now, do you think that um, it's toxic behavior if men in a relationship just putting a stamp of approval on everything that they see on the timeline? Like, you know, she may be secure in a relationship, but do you think there are like boundaries mm. within social media? Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. I, I, I have to ask because you can see it and like it without right. liking it. So, do you have to indeed put your stamp of approval on it? And does that send an indication to you know, your woman or even others who say, hey, man, I thought he was a... Because it could, it could get complicated. Right, right, right. I'm just asking for thoughts. I'm asking for a friend. I th I th <laughs> that was smooth. Um, I think it depends, right? I, I think it depends how you go about it and, like, how you do it, right? Um, like, if you know, you know, you collab or you're in the social media realm and, 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 you know, you know a lot of people that's doing their thing, men and women, and if you're consistent in terms of, hey, I'm showing love to people, Right, okay. now, men and women the same. Put some fire under your comments. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna be like, hey man, that's dope. Keep doing your thing. Okay. If I'm doing that consistently with men and women, okay. right? I think I think you're good. Right mm -hmm. now, it becomes tricky when now this one woman is starting to get special comments that's different than everybody else. You start sending, right? She started getting a little more hard, so she more start getting you know the 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 kiss face or all these different things. I'm now it's like okay. What's the intention behind that, uh -huh. right? Because it's not just that it's just an. I mean, it is just an emoji, right? Yeah, it's, but, but then it's a public display, right? And it's like, intention. what do you what do you want them to kind of receive when you post that, right? Um, so I think you have to be consistent. You have to be like across the board. Hey, if I'm gonna show love to people, this is how I show love to people. Okay. But this box, this is specifically for my woman, right? Mm -hmm. So I think you have to have boundaries even with social media of you know what you entertain what you show love to um but also like what you what you be liking if i'm being honest right if you liking we know how instagram is right yeah. you got a <laughs> girl uh -huh. right and and <clears throat> and you could say like women can say all the time like they don't this don't matter but it matters right so if you're you know you have a woman that's a certain type of build or, or, or look and you love her at x y and z and you're going to instagram and you're constantly liking it and loving it and commenting on women that's completely different than your woman, right? Mm -hmm. Not that you know them, just randomly. Just random. It's like, come on, bro. Like, clearly something else has your attention, right? Um, so, you, again, you got to look at the red flags, women. And same thing with men, right? Like, you have to look at those red flags. Um, not that you should just throw them away, but you got to address that. Be like, hey, like, like, what's up with this? Why is this? Address issue? it before the flash out. Be, be floored. Be yeah, floored. yeah. And, you know, it's just like these are the conversations that get really uncomfortable because nobody wants to talk about it. You know, and I can ask questions and need answers because here it is. You're on the love experiment. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I just need to know because the yolks ain't equaling the way they used to or the way they should when people are really trying to get a solid foundation. Yeah. And getting a solid foundation is a great understanding as of what it is you want in your relationship, what it is you want in your relationship, and what it is that we can and cannot do together. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, and it shouldn't be that complicated, but dear life, I don't know. I, life out here, life in right now, Chris. What, what I've learned is, like, when you're in a relationship, and especially when you start getting older, you have to have those tough conversations. Yeah. Right? So, and I mean about everything. So. I mean about your past. Yeah. I mean about your, your your vision for the future, finances, kids, how you want to raise your kids, what you're going to allow them to be exposed to, um, like everything, where you plan on living, what, what you're going to do, your faith, right? Yeah. Like that's really important because sometimes you can believe the same things, the same principles, but if you're at a certain level or a different level and God's trying to move you and teach you and that other person is not like right there yet, are they going to be able to follow and, and to join you with that? Mm -hmm. Right. So it's so many dip, tough conversations that you have to have. And for me, I would rather have that before we get married than to get married. And now you start, you know, you start having those conversations. You're like, bro, I, yeah. I had no idea. Right? Yeah. And is it true that we can size up a man by his friends and his associates? Oh, fact. I, I'm, I'm asking for a friend. Oh, most, most, a hundred percent, right? Okay. Um, a hundred percent. Now, just because you know they're boys, that don't necessarily mean that you know. But they're his close group of friends 
man, they, they need to be cut differently, right? Mm-hmm. Like the people that I love, that my my group, right, of men, they're gonna hold me accountable. They're gonna live a certain way. They're gonna they're they're gonna carry themselves in a certain way, right? Those are the people that's gonna be really in my circle, right? That'll that can call me out, right? Yeah. And be like, hey, Chris, like like that ain't you it. move a slap, you don't oh, do that. Man. That's not a- sometimes you don't like it. You don't like it, but I would rather have friends that call you out and be like, hold you accountable, hold you to that high standard. Then just guys be like, hey, man, like, I know you're married, but let's go to this strip club or something. Nah, bro. Like, that's, you don't want, you don't need men around you like that, right? Yeah. You need men that's going to respect your relationship and, and, and want to see you thrive and flourish in everything you do, right? And if, and the same thing with women, yeah, right? Absolutely. The same, if you're a woman and I see you always hang around this group of women, uh, chances are, hey, man, that's getting, that's getting assessed. <laughs> chances like, really are. Quick. <laughs> Right? Did, you, did you just do that again to this Oh, yeah. That, that, that's getting a sense uh-huh. real quick, right? Because, look, I'm all for affecting change in other people, right? But yeah. you also have to understand, I mean, even Jesus, he even out of the 12 disciples, he had three he, like, was really, really rocking. Right? You know what I mean? <laughs> right. So you, But that circle, you got to really kind of vet those people, and you got to see the fruit of their circle, right? Oh, if you see the fruit of their circle and they're wild now, they're always in a bad relationship, abusive and this and, and not good with money. Chances are. Chances, chances are, right? Could be an anomaly, could be but chances, chances are, are. They're going to fall right into that category. Yeah, and it's apples and trees and a lot of things, right? And it's like, we can't choose our family, but we definitely can choose our friends that become yeah. like family. Right. And it's important that whatever it is in our life that we are aligning things, that's going to enhance us, make us better. Um, no one is perfect. No situation is perfect. And yeah, everybody got their stuff with them. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Everybody got their stuff with them. You know, everybody. Oh, that was a hard lesson to learn. Everybody, <laughs> everybody. everybody got something. I was just talking with my brothers uh, yesterday, actually. It was like, man, the older you get, you realize even somebody that could be so perfect in your eyes, man, they got some. Yeah. I don't care who it is, they got something. And you know, and it's always important to just realize that everybody is still going through something. Mm. And it's not easy to transition. Like if they were getting out of something and they're now dwindling because they're looking for something different, but that old thing that they're used to, whatever it is, right. habits, um, people. people, places, whatever that is, it's still calling and it's a daily decision. Right. So you have to applaud people who are trying. And we do, right? And I see how much effort you give this daily. And when I saw the love experiment, the first thing I thought about is, man, I'm going to have to hurt one of these little girls <laughs> for playing with Chris. That's, that's, we got bail money? I, I already called Judge King and asked yeah, me, hey, yeah, we got bail know, money? You know we're ready. You know we're ready just in case. <sighs> all right. Blink once for yes, twice for no. You, you good? That's all I need to know. If you tell me you good, Chris, we good. You good? For now, I'm good. I'm for now. Good. All right, good. Because we're going to tune in August 15th, MTV. 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Get you some popcorn. Get you something good to sip on. Mm. We're adding this to our binge list. Oh man, are you excited? I'm I'm in, I'm extremely excited. Like <sighs> I, I feel like th- this been in the works for a long time, and I yeah. think I think people are gonna see um, finally like what the, the, the work and the sacrifices and, and just the, the ability to kind of develop um, not just as a man of God, but just just, just a man that can you know. Talk to women, um, enjoy the dating process, have fun, have a good time, but still stand firm on what he believes in. Yeah. Um, I think that sometimes that kind of gets missed in today's society, especially with social media and everything. So I, I think God has been kind of training me for that. I'm yeah. with it. You know, I mean, because some chapters of my life, I'm just have to take to the grave with me. And you are literally <laughs> living this chapter of your life out loud, you know, yeah. saying that you are looking for love. And these women on this show, they're in control. You know what I'm saying? So it's oh, not like you there. They got all the control. They got control. And I was like, yes, it's yes. You know what I mean? Good. I know that boy come from good stocks. You know right here? He right August 15th. Well, I mean, just like you said, you know, when you got a lot of options, Sometimes that makes it a little harder, you know. It's, especially when you got August fifteenth. It's it's really hard when you got good options, yeah. right? Because I always say there's a difference between a good woman and the right woman. What? Right, and that's that's <laughs> hard, right? It's one thing you can weed out the bad apples, like especially when you get good with your discernment. The, the bad apples are easy to weed out, and this yeah. goes for men and women, women and men too. But when you start finding like good picks that look good on paper. That's that that comes ready, comes with it. Yeah. Is she just a good woman or is she the right woman? Mm. That's questions that need answers. That, that's hard. That's but you hard. know what it is. 
If you're seeing this, you need it. You know how it goes. Exactly. And I want y'all to keep up with him and his movements and everything that he has going on. If you're in need of an attorney, hey, I'm going to go ahead and put this out there too. The King Law Firm. Because see this one right here? Going to represent. Not just show up in style and grace, but he is going to show up and set the pace for you. So listen, the King Law Firm, how can we contact you for our legal needs? Don't y'all be calling this man on the foolishness now. Right, I said right, on your right. legal needs. And I'm going to put that disclaimer out there right now. Don't play them games now. What you say? Yeah, so legal <laughs> needs, like I said, you know, we got an Instagram page, the King Law Firm. Um, you can hit me up directly on my Instagram and we can, you know, make it work. Um, yeah, you, you, you can find us. I know we got the, the number. Okay. Um, wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 I want her to say it in the voice. It's going, it's going something back. Her to say it in the voice. Listen up. The King Law Firm, one 615 7676 The King Law Firm. You, you just like how it sounds. It just sounds so much better, right? It sounds so much better. My God. Um, but yeah, so you can you can hit us up there. Um, if you have any legal needs, personal injuries, you get in an accident, you know, hit your boy up. We got you, right? Absolutely. Um, but also, I just actually dropped a clothing line called Anointed. Right. What? Yes. Just drop so hold on a second. You out here painting, modeling, and okay, anointing. I'm trying to dial on empty, right? I'm trying to dial on empty, right? Talk so, to me. Yeah. So the, that's the that's the cold line, anointed, right? And it, God gave me this years ago, like three years ago, and it's just it, it speaks to walking with the anointing, right? I think God has created each and every one of us to do amazing things, to be change agents in this world, and I think a lot of people know that God has called them to something bigger, something better but sometimes struggle with that. So yeah. I wanted to create a line, dope, nice swag line that, that you can walk in that, right? Um, so go check it out. It's on my Instagram page. Um, you know, we're getting things rolling. Uh, I think we've got some really great quality stuff that you'll like. Nice. Um, and it just wants to remind you, Everywhere you go, everywhere you step, right? Your steps are one ordered, but walk boldly in those steps like you're anointed because you are, right? So that that's that that's the pitch. That's what we want to, um, you know, change the culture with. So, man, hopefully you can um, go cop some, and I think you'll enjoy it. Absolutely. Chris, if I don't tell you anything else, just know that I am proud of you, and you represent us well. Um, I, I don't care what this turns out like for the love experiment. I'm grateful MTV just decided to highlight mm -hmm you know, the one that is going to represent us. Yeah. And I appreciate them so much for that. I know it's going to be entertaining August 15th. It will, it will be entertaining. Still asking if we got our bill money ready just to ask. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm a work in progress. So you have to pray for me a little harder. Let me tell you something. Don't play with the anointed. <laughs> I, mean, see, I, like, I like how she did that, right? I like that how she is. going to sprinkle that on in there. Now, I know you got more work to do. Be sure to tell the family. And Judge King. <laughs> he did good, so please give him the day off. He done good. He deserves the day off. That's all and I'm saying. And a raise. And, and, and a raise. Now, as your manager, I'm going to need 8 to 9 percentages. Gotcha. Negotiate. Gotcha. Bet. Gotcha. Say less. Yeah. So I'm going to let you chase the sun and let the sun chase you. But either way, get after it. So, but before we go, before we go, um, you know, in Proverbs, it says that we should outdo each other in honor. So I just want to show you honor and say thank you. Um, thank you for just who you are. Thank you for what you've done. Um, I know everybody in Baton Rouge and in the state, like they, they know your voice, right? And thank you for everything that you're doing in the community and, and just being the, the woman that you are, thank right? You. Um, so I appreciate you. I appreciate you just opening this platform to me. Um, and you know, it's all love here. All Absolutely. love. You know what? That means more than you know. You know what? Judge can get this boy his friends. I love him. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>